The German-made Tesla Model Y performance will arrive in March, and the Giga Berlin plant appears to be on the last straight to start series production of the all-electric crossover. EV in China are on track to achieve China's 20% national penetration target by 2022, thanks in large part to the huge success of cars like Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y. While hundreds of Teslas were reported at the Port of Auckland, suggesting a bigger growth in New Zealand. Not only Model Y bodies with obvious structural battery space, but also a batch of new Tesla Model Ys recently spotted at the Giga Texas plant. Tesla turned to Mozambique mines to source graphite for its electric vehicle batteries, especially as demand for batteries has grown steadily. Tesla is starting to roll out FSD 10.9, with a more natural left turn and a quieter launch. Finally, in your opinion, which electric vehicles are the most anticipated and desired according to Google. Welcome back to Technopool. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and hit the notification bell icon to get updated with Tesla, Elon Musk, and everything about the EV industry. The Tesla Giga Berlin appears to be the last to begin mass production of the Tesla Model Y. Technically, the company may be very advanced and almost ready, as last week's flyover video showed double-digit brand new cars being assembled on site. The company recently received approval to produce 2,000 Model Ys, likely to be test or demo cars, as part of preparations for mass production. Many of these cars have already left the factory via transport, including the first cars in late 2021. As far as we can tell, these are Tesla Model Y performance versions. The vast majority are black, but there are some other colors as well. According to rumors, Tesla will start with a black and white cars and then roll out some new colors. The updated Tesla Europe website shows that the estimated delivery date for the Model Y performance for new orders is March 2022. It was also discovered in the source code of the website. The new Tesla Model Y performance in Europe will come from Berlin. Tesla reportedly quickly removed the code. Initial production of the made-in-Germany Tesla Model Y is currently expected to be based on standard method, front and rear giant castings, and 2170 cylindrical cells. The next step will be to introduce a structural battery pack version using 4680-type cylindrical cells at some point in the future. Thanks to the huge success of Tesla Model 3, Model Y and other well-known electric vehicles from companies such as SAIC GM Wuling, China's electric vehicles are on track to achieve the national penetration target of 20% by 2022. This is very impressive as it far exceeds the government's forecast, which is expected to hit the 20% mark around 2025. The popularity of new energy vehicles has grown significantly in recent months, with sales more than doubling in November and December. The momentum has helped China's NEV deliveries grow by 169%, according to the China Passenger Car Association. Huey Damshu, Secretary General of the Auto Industry, pointed out that sales of new energy vehicles have grown faster than internal combustion engine vehicles. Sales growth by NEVs largely outpaced internal combustion engine-driven cars. Suggesting that NEV will continue to replace oil guzzlers at a quick pace, the General Secretary said, according to a South China Morning Post report. Monthly EV sales in the country crossed the 20% mark for the first time in November 2021, when EV deliveries grew 122.3% year-over-year. Deliveries in December were even better, up 138.9%, equivalent to 22.6% of total car sales in the country. China is the world's largest auto market, and it is also the home of the world's largest EV segment. Over 200 companies produce and supply NEV to China's domestic auto segment, though monthly sales have so far been dominated by a small group of companies. These elite few are mainly comprised of American EV maker Tesla, which produces the popular Model 3 and Model Y, BYD, SAIC GM Wuling, which produces the best-selling Wuling Hongyuang Mini EV, as well as NIO, Xpeng Motors and Li Auto. Tesla has had great success so far with its Model 3 sedan and Model Y crossover. In December alone, Tesla sold a total of 70,602 electric vehicles in the Chinese domestic market. The Tesla Model Y also took the crown as the best-selling premium SUV in China in December and throughout 2021. Tesla's domestic sales of 70,602 units for the month were particularly impressive, considering that China delivered 505,000 new energy vehicles in December. Cao Hua, a partner at private equity firm Unity Asset Management, noted that China's new energy vehicle sales could see more momentum this year. Beijing's efforts to encourage the purchase of green vehicles have paid off, and the growth momentum will accelerate in 2022. 
The market generally predicts that by 2022, sales of new energy vehicles may double from last year, Cow noted. Recent reports from the Port of Auckland suggest that hundreds of Tesla vehicles may be awaiting delivery in New Zealand. Demand for Tesla vehicles has grown in 2021, especially in the third quarter. It looks like Tesla will continue to grow in New Zealand this year. Two Wallenius Wilhelmsen freighters, the Chirandot and Tannosser, transported Tesla vehicles to the Port of Auckland, according to people familiar with the matter. Both shipments were identified as vehicle carriers. Data discovered by Tesla Roddy confirmed the Chirandot's arrival at the Port of Auckland on Sunday, January 2, 2022. The last time the Tannhauser was recorded in the Port of Auckland was Wednesday, 24 November 2021. Tesla vehicle registrations surged in the third quarter of 2021. Around the same time, the New Zealand government announced a clean car discount. According to the government announcement, starting July 1, 2021, drivers purchasing electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles can receive up to $8,625, $5,847. In new car discounts and up to $3,450, $2,338 in used car discounts. More than 3,200 new Tesla vehicles were registered in 2021, a significant increase from the estimated 519 Tesla vehicles registered in 2020, figures from the New Zealand Ministry of Transport show. In 2019, before the pandemic, about 800 Tesla vehicles were registered in New Zealand. Data Shanghai appears to have contributed significantly to the growth in Tesla vehicle sales in New Zealand. Model X and Model S are the only vehicles registered in the country. The Model 3 will account for more than half of the 3,200 Tesla deliveries reported in 2021. Most Model 3 deliveries in New Zealand last year were shipped from China. A batch of Tesla Model Y vehicles was recently spotted at Gigafactory Texas, the EV manufacturer's new headquarters. Speculation suggests that the recent sighting could be one of the first batches of Model Ys produced in Giga Texas. While there are only a few Model Ys, witnesses suggest, at least, that trial production has begun at Giga Texas. The latest developments are in line with estimates from Webb Bush analyst Dan Ives earlier this month. On January 9, Ives expected Tesla Giga Texas to begin production of the Model Y within the next 7-10 days. He also said that testing was nearly complete and that Tesla is ready to give Giga Texas the green light. Tesla appears to be ready to start Model Y production in Giga Texas. The new Giga factory has seen a lot of exciting developments since it started in 2022. More solar panels from Longy Green Energy were seen on a Giga Texas rooftop on January 6. Last week, Giga Texas received a new batch of Giga Press deliveries for the Model Y. Tesla began Giga Press testing in May 2021 and shared some photos of the big broadcast with the public. Tesla also confirmed that it produced some alpha prototypes of the Cybertruck, although deliveries related to the vehicle's 8,000-ton Gigapress have yet to be seen. Tesla Giga Texas is expected to begin production of the Model Y soon. Tesla has scheduled its fourth quarter and fiscal 2021 earnings call for Wednesday, January 26. Elon Musk said he will provide a product roadmap on the earnings call. Tesla may also provide updates on Giga Texas and Giga Berlin during the conference call earlier, in what appeared to be another hint that Tesla is about to start operations at its Austin-based plant. Another Model Y with a clearly structured battery pack section was spotted in the Giga Texas complex. The body of the Model Y was found near an area believed to be the facility's paint shop. The images of the Model Y test body were spotted by drone operator Joe Techmeyer, who has been closely following the progress of the Giga Factory Texas complex from the start. As can be seen in the image, the Model Y body was shipped to the paint shop along with some equipment. Other trucks nearby suggested that other paint-related equipment was being brought into the facility. Hints that the recently spotted Model Y body was designed with a structural battery pack could be found on the vehicle's floor, which was completely empty. That's different from the Model Y produced at the Fremont factory today, where 2170 battery modules are placed on the floor. The Model Y with its structural battery no longer needs a floor because its battery pack is built into the all-electric crossover's structural platform. This isn't the first time a Model Y body has been seen in the Giga Texas complex with significant space for structural batteries. Just last month, an unpainted Model Y test body was spotted unloaded from a trailer. Like the recently spotted unit, the Model Y bodywork spotted in December also has an empty floor. Unsurprisingly, this has sparked speculation that Tesla may want to launch the Model Y with a structured battery pack in Giga Texas. There are a number of key advantages offered by a structural battery. 
Apart from reinforcing the Model Y's body and chassis, the use of the component is also expected to help optimize range. Production costs are expected to be lowered with the use of structural batteries as well since the component does not require as many parts as the 2170 modules used in the iterations of the Model Y being produced at the Fremont factory and Giga Shanghai today. A recently shared report suggests that Tesla is looking to source some key battery materials, such as graphite, from outside China. These reportedly include one of the world's largest graphite mines in Barama, Mozambique, operated by Australia's Sira Resources. Tesla has signed an agreement to acquire approximately 80% of production from its Shiraga plant in Vidalia, Louisiana, starting in 2025. According to the Associated Press, Sears plant in Louisiana sources its graphite from the company's Barama mine in Mozambique. The value of the deal has not been disclosed so far. While the agreement has been signed, the Australian miner would still be required to ensure that the graphite from its Mozambique mine meets Tesla's standards. Benchmark Mineral Intelligence CEO Simon Moores added that Tesla's decision to work with Australian suppliers to meet its graphite needs could reduce the company's reliance on China, which accounts for the largest share of the global graphite sector. It starts at the top with geopolitics. The US wants to build enough capacity domestically to be able to build lithium-ion batteries within the USA. And this deal will permit Tesla to source graphite independent from China, Moore said. The benchmark CEOs noted that Tesla's use of graphite from the Mozambique mine in Shiraz could also help the company avoid some sensitive issues, as environmental concerns have been raised with some mines in China. That being said, Moore also noted that the deal is equally important for the Australian miner as Tesla is a major customer of its graphite business. Battery supply is a key issue that Tesla has been working on for years. Demand for batteries has grown steadily as the market shifts towards sustainable transportation. This has led Tesla to expand its list of battery suppliers, supplying batteries to facilities such as Gita Shanghai, while developing its own battery production capacity in the United States. So far, Tesla is hard at work ramping and refining the production of 4680 battery cells at its Kata Road facility, which has a capacity of 10 gigawatt hours when fully operational. Tesla started rolling out FSD Beta 10.9. According to the release notes, V10.9 has a number of incremental changes that may significantly improve the actual performance of the FSD Beta. Well-known Tesla hacker Green the only further stated that the electric car maker is rolling out a new map update with the latest patch. These updated maps may give Tesla users a better experience on the road. Checking out the release notes for V10.9 shows that Tesla is working on making the FSD beta behave more and more like a human driver. Of particular interest are references to a more natural unprotected left turn, which should increase the safety of the system, and a calmer launch when the front is about to decelerate, which should make for a smoother ride than before. In a recent post on Twitter, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the FSD beta should begin rolling out in Canada within the next two to four weeks, although the company plans to exercise a cautious approach. Musk confirmed that since the FSD beta was scheduled for October 2020, there have been no accidents or injuries involving advanced driver assistance systems to date. Last year, 2021, was one of the biggest years to the date when it comes to EV adoption. This is rather interesting since we've been in the midst of a global pandemic, not to mention a chip shortage and a general scarcity of automotive-related parts and supplies. While many automakers have their worst total vehicle sales in years, some of them are selling more EV than they did in the past. Also, when global auto brands struggle to make and sell many cars, Tesla has once again broken production and sales records. Lee Fetcher shared some stats related to some of the world's most anticipated and coveted electric vehicles. The data does look at searches for electric vehicles that Google has yet to market, and it also analyzes data related to the current demand for electric vehicles. The site uses Google to search for electric vehicle data in 168 countries around the world. As it turns out, the Tesla Roadster tops all other models, with 8,532,000 Google searches in 2021 alone, averaging more than 700,000 searches per month. Too bad the Roadster's production and delivery dates are nowhere in sight. While the Tesla Roadster was the most searched EV in the UK, the Tesla Cybertruck took the win in the US, where the Roadster took second place to the unique electric pickup truck. As far as global search volume is concerned, the Cybertruck took second place overall, with 7,296,000 searches. Rounding out the top five most anticipated EV in global Google search volume, we have the Apple Car, BMW i4, and Chevrolet Silverado EV. 
That's all for this video about Tesla, and thank you for watching. If you'd like to receive more updates, make sure you click the subscribe and bell icon and leave a comment because it really matters.